So I just wanted to walk you guys through my thought process for buying more Netflix stock today after their earnings. Um, they had a pretty good earnings report, but they said, I think I haven't double checked, that they're no longer going to be sharing subscriber growth in their quarterly earnings reports, and that freaked people out. So the stock is dropping. It's currently down 7.68%. It's down around $47. Um, and I took that as an opportunity to buy a little bit more. And I just... I'm not saying this as a wink wink financial advice kind of video. It isn't. Please do your own research and buy what's right for you. I'm not telling you that I bought it as in I bought it so you should buy it. I'm not doing that. I'm walking you through my thought process as an investor when I think about buying something or not buying something. And in this instance, I saw I thought this is a freak out, a temporary freak out on an overall good earnings report. Um, so I'm going to buy a little bit more. I bought some at 572. As soon as I bought it, it dropped to 555. Was I freaked out? Was I panicking? Oh no, oh no, no. I don't care what happens today. I don't care what happens next week. I don't care what happens next month. I don't really care what happens next year. I'm investing in this company for the next 10 or 20 years, not day to day. I'm not trying to time things. I'm not trying to get the lowest price. I don't care. Let me run you through a scenario here. I, pur I purchased it at 572. Right? As soon as I did, it dropped to 555 or 556, then it came up to 572, then it went to 573, now it's 563. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm not worrying about it. Other than making this TikTok, I'm not looking at the price. I don't care about the price. I bought Netflix because I think it's going to be worth more in a year, in a, in a decade than it is next year or today or tomorrow or anything short term. There's going to come a time when Netflix is dramatically higher than where it is right now. I don't know what price. It could be 1000 could be 900 doesn't matter. I'm not going to be sitting there in a decade going, yeah, but if I had just waited five more minutes, I could have got it at 555 instead of 572. And oh, why? I'm just going to be glad that I have it, right? I'm going to be the person going around saying, I bought Netflix at 572, especially if it's, you know, a thousand bucks in the future, which, you know, could be point is don't stress yourself out trying to get the perfect price you have to have conviction in what you're investing in. you have to understand why you're investing not for today not for tomorrow not for next month not for next year years down the road years down the road by the way i was just about to edit and post this video and i uh i saw something i wanted to just read a couple things to you if i can find it uh, Pivotal Research maintains buy on Netflix raises price target to 800. Bernstein maintains a market perform on Netflix raises price target to 600. Um, Rosenblatt remains neutral, lowers the price target to 540. Wells Fargo maintains overweight on Netflix, raises price target to 726. There was one more, I think I saw it up here. Uh, Netflix price target maintained um, with a price target of uh, 725 by Wedbush. So even though it has this bad earnings report, overwhelmingly, everyone, except for the one, uh, Rosenblatt lowers price target to 540. Everyone else is currently 562. Everyone else has a higher price target a year from now.